good morning student this is rahul patil today we are going to discuss the minimum starting speed and pressure rise in centrifugal pump we know that the basic working principle of centrifugal pump is a uh, force vortex flow in which as per this principle when certain amount of liquid is rotated by means of some external torque the there is a rise in head and that head is used to transfer the liquid from one point to the another point look at the cylinder over here cylinder a there is a liquid which is placed in cylinder which is a now steady uh, cylinder and this cylinder is placed on particular this shaft means we can rotate this shaft by means of external torque and with a rotating rotating of this shaft the cylinder above this shaft is also getting rotated now in second case cylinder is rotating with a angular speed omega so that the liquid place over the cylinder it's also getting rotated this is a front view that's why we are looking getting this motion over here if you looking from the top you will get the circular motion of this liquid around the axis now this motion of water inside the cylinder is called as vortex motion or vortex flow now we have to calculate how much head is developed on this particular liquid after rotation or due to this omega so we are having the direct equation for this so head rise due to and basically this principle or this equation is get from the centrifugal force equation which is a very the basic one so whatever the head rise due to this pressure in impeller h is given as omega square r2 square 2g minus omega square r1 square minus 2g it is kind of final angular momentum minus initial angular momentum you can Uh, take likewise also, but we have to take the head energy. That's why I divided by 2g over here. In this figure also, we can see this is a R1 over here and this is a R2. Means by means considering the any two point, by considering the any two point in this motion or in this liquid when this liquid is rotating around the axis, we can find out this uh, head rise due to the uh, head due to the pressure rise in impeller or that particular cylinder. why we can call it as impeller because same thing happening in centrifugal pump also in centrifugal pump also we are rotating that liquid by means of impeller okay that's why it's they have directly said here head due to the pressure rise in the impeller now we know that u is equal to r omega so omega square r2 square is equal to u2 square and omega square r1 omega uh, r1 square omega square and r1 square is u1 square so we will get the head rise due to the impeller is u2 square by 2g minus u1 square by 2g means what whenever the whenever you are started with the impeller we will get the head rise due to the pressure by means of this equation that is u2 square by 2g minus u1 square by 2g so to transfer the liquid at desired point to tra or transfer the water at desired point whatever the head input that is u2 square minus u1 square by 2g it is called as a head energy it supposed to be the greater than or equal to the manometric head because centrifugal pump has to do work against this particular manometric head and we already be, uh, know that this manometric head is the total head against which centrifugal pump has to do the work now Put the u2 and u1 in terms of of pi d2 n upon 60 square minus pi d1 upon 60 square 2g greater than equal to the manometric head. This is the equation number one. Now we have to do the substitution for this manometric head over here. So we know the manometric efficiency is equal to h m upon v w to u2 by g means manometric head upon work done per unit weight. Uh, work input per unit weight. So h m is equal to v w to u2 g. and uh, into manometric efficiency we have just here in this one again you have to put the u2 value over here that is pi due to n upon 60 into manometric efficiency now by putting the value the equation number 1 becomes now this equation number 1 becomes now if you take the pi n upon 60 square common then d2 square minus d1 square greater than equal to 2g vw2 into pi d2 n upon 60 manometric efficiency this is just substitution for the manometric head and we have to take the common we have just take this common pi n upon 60 from the uh, left hand side so we will get this equation now again uh, we have just uh, we have just write here pi n upon 60 d2 square minus d1 square greater than equal to 2 vw2 
C2 and manometric epilepsy vessel. Okay. And by simplifying this one, you will get the RPM over here. Got it? So, you will get the minimum RPM speed is 120 manometric efficiency into VW2 D2 upon pi D2 square minus D1 square. Okay. One may ask that why how this pi n here is a pi n upon 60 square and here is a pi n upon 60. We are just divided on both side upon pi n upon 60 means this pi n upon 60 is get cancelled with the one pi n upon 60 on the left hand side. That's why the equation is simplified. Now final equation is equal to what? N minimum is equal to 120 manometric efficiency into VW2 into D2 upon pi D2 square minus D1 square. Okay.